Hi, I'm Dave Fleetwood. This is just drive it. This is our 54 Plymouth, uh, also known as Short Fat Fanny. And we've had the car about 20 years. I've jobbed it twice below the drip rail and once above the drip rail. And I've shortened it twice in the back end, once the whole rear end, and then once between the deck lid and the back window. I don't know how much it's took out of the roof or how much it's taken out of the length because I was done a lot of that work when I was about 23, 4, or 5 years old and didn't measure anything, just cut and dropped it and looked at it and then made sure the other side matched this side. Um, it does have some finger skirts underneath there, but we just bondo them over and they're cracking out and I think we're just going to weld those in solid because you can get the tires and wheels off of it without having skirts. Yeah, it has a all tube, tube of three chassis, homemade. All the floors, transmission hump, firewalls, wheel tubs, trunk, everything underneath the car is all homemade. Yeah, it's got CJ5 rear end with ladder bars and coil overs. And at this time, it has a 1974 low compression 440 with a dual quad marine intake, two 750 AFBs and a 284-484 cam. Other than that, it's pretty well stocked. It'll run all day long and never hiccup on 87 octane gas and usually gets about 15 miles a gallon if you stay out of the front carburetor. Has a blowproof bell, 11 inch clutch, overdrive four speed, and the front axle is a 57 Ford pickup unit cut down, 38 Dodge knee action shocks, leaf springs and top links that are homemade out of tie rod ends and Mopar style steering box, 60s, 70s, B body, A body stuff. That is a cheap Chinese replacement because uh, we had a horrible death wobble in the front end after replacing everything but the steering box. We replaced the steering box and cured that. And it's got a cheap aluminum radiator in it because the original one was bringing a new leak every time we took it out. And it's doing very well. It has a 55 Chrysler front bumper that's been narrowed eight and a quarter inches. We think it kind of looks like Kirk Douglas's chin there in the middle. 50 Plymouth Sombrero hubcaps, 670 uh, wide white walls from Firestone. Lexan windows with just some of that universal window rubber you can get offline. It's got a 50 Chrysler front bumper on the rear that's been narrowed a couple inches on each side. I was able to do that behind the bumper guards, which so you can't see the weld on it. And you got two inch straight pipes and they are straight. They go from the front of the car to the back and don't go over the axle or anything. They go through the frame cross members, under the axle and out the back. Open the trunk. <laughs> where my trunk hinges used to be is where my tires are now. So I don't have hinges yet. And uh, it's usually dirty and full of junk. The gas tank is, uh, we had a torpedo heater that went bad. So we took the wheels and the torpedo off of it and welded some 3 8 fittings in there. And that's our gas tank. And that's the job. Don't have a gas gauge. Actually, we don't have any gauges. We may someday, though. Uh, the front, the seats are out of a wheelchair van. And... The steering column and wheels have a 64 Dodge. And as I say, there's no gauges or anything in it yet. We've only been driving it for about four years and we haven't got to that yet. But, but we do have a charger. <laughs> and this this year before we went on a power tour, we put all this insulation in here because it would get so hot inside it would melt the heel of your shoe sometimes over on this side. And that kind of helped on that. Instead of the floorboard and the transmission tunnel being so hot you couldn't hardly touch them, that made it more of an even heat. But it's a good car and we always get people asking us, you know, oh, how do you drive that thing? How do you see out of it? <laughs> All these questions. And uh, you just drive it and see out of it like you do any other car. But it's kind of like uh, watching one of those movies with uh, black on the top and bottom, you know. After a while you kind of get used to it. And, when you kind of crest a hill sometimes, it may be a little hard to see, but it's really not as bad as anyone would think. And it don't ride too bad for what it is. And let's say it's just a good old solid dependable car. And it's all homemade. 
they got less than four thousand dollars in the whole thing and close to a thousand dollars worth of that's a tire and you know from trading around and like all the sheet metal and stuff inside it my neighbor's daughter does construction and they tore down an old building that had a bunch of industrial duct work in it and it's like 18 gauge galvanized and we cut all that up and made the floorboards with it and, and the, the, it's not paint it's just 2k primer with some blue base coat mixed in it and some white base coat mixed in the same color to get the lighter blue and the wheels are 104 dollars for a set of four delivered to the door they're just old white spoke trailer wheels and since we're going to run hubcaps on them they work fine and they don't leak here like those original wheels and uh, i have no idea how many miles we put on this car in the last four years it's been running so we had it 20 years there's one of them deals we worked on it part time and it set for a few years and worked on a little and it set for a few years and the factory we was working at shut down we had some severance pay and 401k money and so we just stayed home and worked on it for about six weeks straight and welded it together and took off and it's been a real good car and it's been a lot of fun and these are the kind of things that we plan on building on our youtube channel there's a lot of guys out there just going out and getting stock four doors and stuff and dragging them out and getting them running and driving them and, and you know taking muscle cars and things and putting bolt-on parts on them and that's great there's nothing wrong with that or ls swaps or whatever you're into you're doing things with cars that's fantastic but we kind of like to do you know stuff that's different we like to go to a show and no one else there have you know exactly what we got and we like to do it on the cheap and that is you know a lot of times because that's the only way we can do it and so we hope we inspire others to do the same thing and we hope that we can show people that you don't have to have big money or a lot of experience or a big shop and a lift and fancy tools to make a cool car but you can build something like this with a cheap welder and a grinder and a torch and you know right in your backyard garage or even your driveway if you have to and we want to show you how to do it and we want to show you that you can take cars like this and drive them where and as far as you want and they can be dependable and, and fun and we hope to see a lot of people you know building more things like this in the future and that's our goal is to just show people the way we do it and we're not trying to say that we're better or our way is the only way or anything like that because everyone does things their own way and we prefer the Chrysler stuff but the same things apply to about any kind of vehicle. We've got a car coming, so we better cut this video short. Well, we've got a video about us going to James Dean that we're going to put, and it's in this car, and so you can get a good idea of how it's like to drive in this car. So we hope to get that up soon. Thank you.